Hey everyone, welcome to I Truly Love It. My name is Susan, and today I'm going to share with you my final design team project for creating with Jovi. Um, I used her digital kit called Mouse Travels, and um, so let's dive in and see all the good stuff. All right, I just used some Baker's twine here to close my journal, so I'm going to take that off. This is a single signature journal. Um, this um, cover is simply just a um, piece of scrapbook, two sided of scrapbook paper, and so you'll see the inside in just a minute. But it had all these postcards, and I thought, well, that was great for, you know, travel theme. Um, this little piece here is um, Fourth and Nine in Market uh, from one of their ephemera kits. Uh, and this is just uh, craft paper that I wrote with uh, my Tombow brush marker. Nope, pen. I always get that wrong. Um, I use the three hole pamphlet stitch. Um, I use embroidery floss. I know some people use that wax thread, but I have a lot of access to embroidery floss, so I might as well use it. Um, so there we go. Let's uh, open it up and see what we've got. I did round the corners. I'm sure you probably noticed that. Um, so the it was a 12 by 12 paper, and so the part I cut off, I turned into pockets. I have one of her little um, mushroom um, digitals there, and that's a digital uh, fussy cut. This is one of her pages from her kit. So it's like a, it's almost like an older female mouse, so like maybe mom and a uh, son, and they're dreaming about uh, all the places that they could go and visit. And uh, so we've got a pocket. I angled it a little bit just to be a little different. Um, also, you can pick up shorter items. Uh, so this is a piece from her kit. And um, I like this Denison label shape, but um, with a design and turn it that way. And you can journal on the back of all these pieces. And there's a little tag, a little mouse house. And there's our, I guess, mama. And we're going to have some sunshine and happiness wherever we go. Um, so she has one little, like, border piece so i cut that out and um, since it's the white bedroom i thought this was a great page to put it on so you'll see some papers in here from uh, or pages in here from atlases all right uh, on this side i made a little corner tuck and um, that's from that 49 and market uh ephemera kit oh this is, I'll go back and do one tab just a minute. But this is some washi tape from 49 Markets from there, like uh, everywhere, travel everywhere. Um, this is from that same little uh, set. It's a little just tag that's already got the eyelet in it and the string. Uh, this is from Jovi's kit. You know, I got some lace there. And uh, this is scrapbook paper. Um, it's an envelope that I made for another project, and I, I did it wrong for that project, but it will certainly work here. So let's we'll put that in there. Um, let me go back to this tab. So um, a couple of the journal pages I copied, and I cut some images off of those, and you'll see those. So the rest of the paper I wanted to kind of put to some use. So a okay, little tab here and let me scoot it down so you can actually see it uh, it's like map all i did was punch it with a circle and then uh, so then you fold it in half and then you punch or yeah with your circle punch you punch off the edges there makes a little tab all right so back to this this is 49 and market washi tape fabric tape i think is what it's called this is another one of her pages and um, add some little, uh, yep, some of that trim. <laughs> and this is a different page. You know, I, I put them in and then flipped them over and printed on the other side. And a uh, piece of sheet music that is called Out of Nowhere. So just added that little 
calendar piece there. And uh, so this was actually on a bigger journal page, but I wanted her out of nowhere coming into the house. So I thought that was fun. Um, there's a little piece there. All right, so this was part of a, like I said, a bigger journal page and I fussy cut out the little mushroom house and I glued it in a way to make a pocket. So there you go. And if you had something skinnier, you could fit it in there because it's, it's probably glued and yeah, right there. So up here it'll fit something wider down here, something a little skinnier. All right, and this is just some paper from Peck uh, that I picked up at thrift shop. There's another piece of um, from one of her digital pages, but I had used it for something else, so I had some leftover in my little tab. Got a little mouse friend hot ballooning in, a little compass rose there. There's her little house. All right, we're flying in to Calcutta. Uh, this is at 49 and Market Ephemera piece. This was, um, so the page with the flying girl mouse there. At the bottom was this, like a little border. So I cut that out. And you set the bottom of this notebook paper. That's a little ticket there. There's my center page. I just love that. Love the train. There's some fabric tape from that same 49 market set. And then that one's in that kit. Also, that's wider. And a little stamp here for Rome. And Joey just got back from Italy here a few weeks back. She has a lantern. Oops. That's just a little piece of paper. And that's another one of her ephemera pieces. And um, a tag with a label and a little envelope. You can journal on all those pieces. Good journaling spot there. You can even have the title up here. A little mouse friend. So I've got a little corner tuck. You could put here. Let's. Probably found my pink guest checks. They were they were missing, but they were right up here. So I just fits in like that. And that um, is in our kit. The little ticket, little suitcase there. That's the other page for that mushroom house. This was the other side of that. And that's one of her pieces. And that's that little map tab again. And uh, this is just some little writing paper that I got from Daiso. A little tab punch there. Um, this is one of her little envelope uh, fussy cuts. And I just put a little tag and guest check that I backed onto that um, other paper of hers that I've used. Uh, and this is from that 49 and Market kit. Oh, this is also from her kit. Piece of text there. All right, um, so I made a little belly band. This is her digital here. Uh, this is like thicker construction paper that I picked up at Daiso. And um, You'll see it. Well, you saw it up here in the front of that pocket. So then I made that, and I thought, well, Susan, since you made a belly band going horizontally, you need something to tuck in there. So I thought, well, I'll make a little notepad. It's been a while. Um, so I have that little piece of hers. I glued that to that um, same construction paper, and then I put in some little pieces of paper that you can journal on. Sorry about that, I had to cough. Let's tuck that back in there. And uh, so this is one of her journal pages. Now this was actually one of her ephemera pieces. And I thought that'll be a great little spot to put it it's right there. So it looks like it's on the mail post, mailbox post. A little tab, that's just made out of some graph paper. 
Um, there's a little friend on the bike, and he is uh, this way to the garden. I have some lace here. A little lantern there, because you need to be able to see at night. And uh, my little side tuck here, I used, um, it's called seagull scissors, um, decorative cut. Um, I actually made this um, in one of my junk journal sketches uh, videos. Um, so this is her paper bag here. It's, a, it's like a bunch of stacked up suitcases. This is hers, this is hers, this is hers, and then this is a piece of map. And uh, just made using that little sketch, made a little journal card, tucks nicely in there. These are hers. Now, these are actually, I think, stamps, but I don't have the stamp scissors, so I just trim the edges off. All right. And then there's that um, same paper, a little pocket. This is labeled with those little roses. I think, well, they're not all roses. Um, and there's a ticket. There's a ticket. This this one I have the lace, obviously, but this one I used a purple ticket. Um, I like that color combination. And uh, this is just a piece I've got from somewhere. Um, some kind of Etsy handle or something. And then this is the other side of the the beginning where you saw the lamp post and there's the back and there's a pocket and there's a suitcase and another mushroom and an old hot air balloon so that's my journal and my final project for uh creating with jovi um and um she was picking her new design team and uh of course we were all extended uh, an invitation to continue but uh, it goes into the fall, and when school starts, it's going to be super busy this next year for me. I'm going to be teaching reading and math, so um be a little bit busier than usual. And then, of course, my daughter is in marching band, so weekends can get kind of busy also during football season. Um, but I'm going to have the kit link below. Uh, go check out Jovi's shop. And um, she's got a lot of great things. I've done flowers in France. I've done, let's see, the Mermaid Mermaid Island last month. I did Vistosa for May. That was, um, well, I did it in April. So you could see it before May off like Cinco de Mayo if you were interested in that. So that was my April one. Um, and then March. She had a collaboration, um, and I'm forgetting the name. It was um, oh, Fairy Collab, Enchanted Fairy Collab, that's what it was. Um, and she had Celtic Fantasy uh, was the name of the kit. And so since I was in the collab, um, I thought I would just use that same kit for my March uh, journal that I made. All right, you guys, so go check out Jovi. Um, and she's live like almost every Friday uh, doing um, different techniques. Sometimes she pairs up with somebody and, um, uh, you know, one week she paired up with uh, uh, Miss Adventures and Mixed Media with Darcy. Darcy's Miss, Miss Darcy's Miss Adventures and Miss Mixed Media. <laughs> I'll get it right. Anyways. Um, She's teamed up with a lot of people on Fridays to do different things. So um, she's got a, a lot of things to share, uh, a lot of techniques, and uh, she makes great journals uh, and great digital kits. So head on over there and check out her channel, check out her Etsy shop. And um, I just want to say thank you, Jovi, for having me on your team. Uh, it's my first ever design team, and uh, I was uh, super happy and proud to be on your team. And uh, thank you for, for all the things. And uh, um, I look forward to all the kits you put out in the future. All right, you guys. Um, I appreciate you and your time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next one, bye-bye.